Hello, this is Dazzling One, and this week I will be covering the topic of Deja Vu. It is something I've made mention of in the past in previous videos, but I have never covered it at large. Deja Vu is French for already seen. It was coined by Emile Barak. There are numerous theories out there as to what Deja Vu truly is. Paranormal enthusiasts may view it as something that is linked to the supernatural, dealing with prophecy, past lives, clairvoyance, or mystic signposts indicating fulfillment of a predetermined condition on the journey of life. Whereas the scientific community views it as an anomaly of memory, which creates a distinct impression that experience is being recalled. In other words, a glitch in the brain. Three most popular theories within psychology are dual processing, confusion in the past, and dual processing, confusion in the past, and divided attention. With dual processing, what happens is that there's a delay in sensory information processing in one event, so the brain interprets it as occurring in two separate events, so pretty much the brain is acting slow. In confusion in the past, what happens is there's an object that reminds an individual of a distant memory, and so because they have trouble recalling that past memory, even though they recognize that object, they have familiarity without recollection, so it leads to the feeling of deja vu. With divided attention, the brain is taking in the environment subliminally, and as this occurs because they are distracted, they have this feeling that they've been there when in reality they have not. Early researchers have tried to establish a link between deja vu and mental disorders such as anxiety, dissociative identity disorder, and schizophrenia, but have failed to find correlation of any diagnostic value. The strongest pathological association of deja vu is with temporal lobe epilepsy. This correlation has led some researchers to speculate that the experience of deja vu is possibly a neurological anomaly related to improper electrical discharge in the brain, as most people suffer a mild, non-pathological epileptic episode regularly. Hypnagogic jerk, the sudden jolt that frequently but not always occurs just prior to falling asleep. It is conjectured that a similar mild neurological aberration occurs in the experience of deja vu, resulting in an erroneous sensation of memory. Scientists have even looked into genetics when considering deja vu. Another plausible explanation is drugs. Oftentimes when people are on prescription drugs, they have a higher probability of experiencing deja vu. Dreams is another one. Sometimes we have dreams that come to fruition, and because this occurs, we get the feeling of deja vu. We may not remember those dreams. So even though you have never been there before in waking, you have in your dreams. Parallel universes is another interesting angle to deja vu. According to Dr. Kaku, quantum physics states that there is a possibility that deja vu might be caused by your ability to flip between different universes. Dr. Kaku mentions Professor Steve Weinberg, the famous theoretical physicist and Nobel Prize winner, supports the ideal of a multiverse. Weinberg says that there are an infinite number of parallel realities coexisting with us in the same room. There are hundreds of different radio waves being broadcast all around you from distant stations. At any given instant, your office or car or living room is full of these radio waves. However, if you turn on a radio, you can listen to only one frequency at a time. These other frequencies are not in phase with each other. Each station has a different frequency, a different energy. As a result, your radio can only be tuned to one broadcast at a time. So just like with radio stations and multi-dimensions, deja vu is your way of having a glimpse into another dimension, quite possibly. And then there are theories of it being linked to past lives and reincarnation. Some people believe that it's not our first time on Earth, it may not be our last time because you keep reincarnating after you die and you have a past life. And as a result, you may have a similar experience that you had in a past life, or it might be a way of telling you your fate because everything is predetermined. And then others believe that it's linked to a higher power or something otherworldly. Maybe it's aliens communicating with them. Others believe that time travelers are interfering with time. And I've heard this theory before, and with it, it deals with if someone is traveling to the past and they try to change the past because that's against the rules of time travel. Someone experience is deja vu because something was interfered with. 
and that is just one theory out there. Then there is the idea that it's linked to prophecy and precognition, whereas you're actually foreseeing the future, it's foresight, and then there are other phenomenons that are very similar to deja vu, except jamais vu is the exact opposite, it means never seen. It's used to describe a familiar situation which is not recognized by the observer. It involves a sense of eeriness and the observer's impression of seeing the situation for the first time, despite rationally knowing that he or she has been in the situation before. Jamais vu is more commonly explained as when a person momentarily does not recognize a word, person, or place that they already know. Jamais vu is sometimes associated with certain types of aphasia, amnesia, and epilepsy. Theoretically, jamais vu is linked to delirious disorders or intoxication could result in a delirious explanation of it, such as Capgraw, which I talked about in the cloning video I did last week in which the patient takes a person known by him or her for a false double or imposter. If the imposter is himself, the clinical setting would be the same as the one described as depersonalization, hence jamais vu of oneself or of the very reality of reality are termed depersonalization or surreality feelings. Presque vu, French meaning almost seen, is the intense feeling of being on the very brink of a powerful epiphany, insight, or revelation without actually achieving the revelation. The feeling is often therefore associated with a frustrating, tantalizing sense of incompleteness or near-completeness. Deja et en totu means already heard. It is the experience of feeling sure about having already heard something even though the exact details are uncertain or were perhaps imagined. So here's my personal take on deja vu. I definitely see a paranormal angle to it. I think that it being the result of something you dreamt and living that dream out is the most plausible of explanations, but I also think that everything that happens in the physical world has already taken place in the spiritual world. And my ground for this is that I believe that God exists outside of time. And I also believe that the spiritual world does not operate on the same time clock as we do. Even within quantum physics, there is this constant idea that maybe past present and future is not linear, but actually all coexisting and occurring at one time. And in 2 Peter 3.8, it says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So right there, the fact that time for us and time for God is different leads me to believe that for him, he's not going on the same time clock that we're going on. The other interesting thing is that when Samuel told Saul about how he no longer was going to be king of Israel. It didn't take place till 20 years later. And in 1 Samuel 15, 27, it says, And as Samuel turned about to go away, he laid hold upon the skirt of his mantle, and in it rent. And Samuel said unto him, The Lord hath rent the kingdom of Israel from thee this day, and hath given it to a neighbor of thine that is better than thou. And so it's just interesting because he decreed this. It wasn't until two decades later that David became king of Israel. So I believe that this is why spiritual warfare is so crucial. This is why confessing and believing and decreeing, this is why really what we say, even I've learned what you write down, shapes what happens. It shapes our reality. And I also feel that deja vu, presque vu, and these other types of phenomenons that deal with people having the sensations that I've been here before, or I'm on the verge of something, or just knowing deep down inside. It's the spiritual world reaching into this world and us experiencing a glimpse of it. And in the video I did on dreams, I discussed how I've had some dreams in the past that have happened to me personally or even as far as I've dreamt of people's deaths and they occurred exactly how I dreamt them. And the thing about it is that one thing I've learned from these experiences, just because I have a dream where something occurs later on does not mean it necessarily was God given. It could have been given to me by Satan and someone asked me why I believe that. Saw with these death dreams is that I should have prayed. I kind of brushed it under the rug and didn't pray about it. I didn't try to seek God. I was like, well, it's kind of weird, but, and I just kind of let go. And then later it occurred exactly how I dreamt. And so what I've learned now is when I have any kind of negative dream that involves someone else or even myself, I take it to God, I pray about it, and if there's a situation familiar, I may avoid that situation altogether. 
Like if I dreamt that I was going to get on a plane to Chicago and it, the plane was going to crash, then I'm not going to get on that plane to Chicago when the opportunity presents itself. Especially if I have details or everything feels like it's falling into place. Even if I had a deja vu moment where I don't necessarily remember a dream, but I just have this feeling I've been here before, or maybe even a premonition, because I've had a lot of premonitions in the past, then I would avoid that, even though deep down inside, nothing logically is telling me the plane is going to crash on its way to Chicago, and you know what? It may never crash because I wasn't on that plane that day. So it's just interesting, but that's my belief on what all this really is. I hope you enjoyed the video took from it, and please share this video, subscribe, like it, and have a wonderful week, take care, and God bless.